Okay, so here it is on the layout uh, on the river, you can see. And um, you know, there's, quite, there's plenty of room here, which is what I like. It's not squeezed in. You know, I like the space, you know, of the water around it. So I'm pretty pleased with uh, how that, it, it really makes the scene. Like it really says a marine terminal operation, right? Um, you know, it suggests maybe that, you know, it's waiting for the barge to come in or the barge to go out. Um, and it adds a little more depth to this scene, which is multi-layered, right? With the warehouse back there. Um, all right, there's quite a lot of depth to the scene. It's, it's almost deceiving in a way. See, there's the brewery alley way. A um, little bit of separate ops there. And then, of course, this is where the ferry will come in right here. And this is going to be, this is jumping ahead a bit, but there's going to be, like, I'm going to have some sliders come out of here to support the ferry so I can push it away and put it underneath and to simulate, uh, you know, offloading or unloading cars or a barge too. But I really want to build that ferry to eventually whenever I get to that. But first things first, finish those kiosks there too. And it's really starting to really feel, you know, uh, like the Anastas Island prototype now, really. I mean, like this tug, I'll just say quick in closing, like what inspired me, I mean, I wanted to do a tug, but I wasn't sure which one. I'll just tell you this quick, like one day I was on location, it was kind of quiet and I was standing right about here and I was ready to leave and I was looking, I saw these bright lights, right? And this tug was really clipping along and like the rivers actually comes out past my hand, way out, right? And he was like just cruising in like this and come up close to the barge slipping. I kind of said, I better get going. These big bright lights on the front, like 10 times brighter than a locomotive, you know, um, bearing down on me, right? I thought, oh no, here he comes. He's going to report me or something, but no, it's pretty quiet. People walk up and down this section. It's, there's, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this either, but there's park benches. Like I put one right here. But there's benches all along here and people and a pathway. Like people know that. I'm not the only one that knows that. And they come down to the river. It's a pretty quiet area. And like I say, the barge slip now in 2023, apparently it's not really running or in operation. But this is, this is 2010, I'm modeling, right? So anyway, so that's the barge, or, or, or sorry, the, the C-SPAN Corsair coming along. Uh, you can see how it's, uh, you know, uh, going to be put, fit right here nicely. And it'll it'll just help really fill out this scene and really bring it primarily to a finish in terms of the main components. Except for, you know, the ferry part. But it's a big project. But man, I'm ever really happy with it. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look so far at where we're at here. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, the stairs up to this part are all done, um, other than ladders that will come later. Now, what I've done here is, um, as I also mentioned earlier, is I honed out these just with a Dremel. I just pushed through with a ball cutter and then just knifed it and cleaned it up. Uh, that'll give you some room for to slide in a uh, like electrical board in there. You can see where I drilled a hole right through. For electrical, okay. So there are two uh, mini Dean's plugs I'll be able to fit through there, and that, and then I'll probably drill a hole by the barge slip down through the acrylic. Just a small hole. I can also make a plug or use a buoy to put it in place if I ever remove it. So I'm not worried about that. 
that'll be easy enough to do. And then I can run the wires under the layout to my accessory bus or whatever. So I want to have that in there. Um, these are portholes, but I'll probably run wires like LED wires through those and I'll show you. So now that the galley and the mess is kind of sort of framed up, I'm going to install this upper deck here like this. And you can see, oh, I should mention this, uh, you can see where uh, I built up the camber here. So I want to mirror this camber on the deck, you know, same as the uh, the lower quarter deck here in the forecastle, there's a camber on there, okay? And then there's different ways of doing this that you can run formers across. I don't need to in this span, but I added in, I built up, like once this these walls are up, they were just square on the top. I just added strip, just welded strip in to pack it out up to the level of this deck. This part doesn't matter because it's going to be covered, okay? And then I just sanded a curve in there so that when I lay this on this will tuck in here like this and then you can see how I'll push that down and you can see there's a bit of a camber there okay now before I show you how the stack or the funnels fit in I want to mention this okay so you see these little wings here on the back Notice on these photos here, this is sort of a, was a strange looking anomaly to me that I couldn't really figure out why. But notice how on the C-SPAN Corsair here on the rear upper deck, it's sort of bent down, it's curved down. Like at first I thought, was that damaged from, but how could it be damaged? Because it's on the inside of the, the hull here. And I was thinking, was that an afterthought or did they just design it that way for water to run off? And if so, where's the scupper or where's the pipe, the down pipe for the water? Like, I don't really get that. Um, here's another photo right here. You know, it looks like a bit of rust and down there, but see how it bends down, right? And I was wondering, like, should I model that in? Or, like, some things on the prototype don't translate well on a model, I've noticed. Like, f maybe for some of you advanced modelers or people, uh, you know, that have, been in the game a long time kind of know that I guess you know that there's some things that don't always model well in miniature like when you copy the prototype but I don't know I think I will I think I'll just introduce just a little bit of a bend like that like this um, you know I'll just sort of bend that like that <clears throat> excuse me and then when I put the trim on It'll be there. It'll be subtle, but it'll be there. And then when I install this deck on here, it'll still be subtle enough to show. Right. Anyway, um, so, oh, so the funnels. Yeah, so the funnels, I haven't finished it, but they're bulked up. I'll finish the top flare, like the, where the, manifolds come out of I want it to be thinner material that's why they're cut off there okay so these have got a funny sort of shape to them you know they're you can see how the top angles in a bit and then the rear has a couple of different returns on it but they but they go on like this because they're tapered and in order to get this opening tight I just packed it out with some thin 10 thou strip just to to sort of shim them out so that they fit snug Right, like I like parts, you know, to at least, you know, fit firmly. That way you don't need much glue to put them in place. So you can see how I even shimmed up the base of them a bit. See the camber on the deck? The bottom of these funnels is square, but I added a, a, a wider strip, a, a, a taller profile strip and a smaller one on the inside of it just to, shim them up so they're vertical okay and then of course the uh, winch uh, i don't know if there's a wall back here what's going on there might be but there's the winch sits in here it sits in there just like you see here and i have some decent amount of photos to build this winch 
a couple of different angles. Uh, here's another one. That's a good one right there, the winch. Should be fun to build that. And that just tucks in back here. So moving right along. And then just this part here, there's a, 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 a deck on here that is level with this command bridge deck. And then you can see that I put in a little bit of a plate in there just to line up the so I'm going to build that up. I'm going to, I'm going to frame that in, and I'm going to have this, the, just this deck part uh, with a with a sort of fit, a pressure fit uh, top piece, and the lifeboat goes on there, and some other details. So that's how I'm going to handle that. Okay. Oh, and then also these holes here go into the command bridge, and they'll be for wiring up the mast for the strobes and stuff. A lot of fun. Coming right along though, okay. Okay, I just want to mention at this point again, I've uh, I have shown this or talked about shimming. Like, see how nice and snug that fits there. Like when you put this funnel in there, like on this upper deck plate piece, it just slides in beautifully, right? And tight dry now these these openings were too large when I cut them because when I cut them I measured the base but then it's narrower here you can see where the funnel has this different shape to it, it has a couple of returns on it so I had this big gap here so I packed it out with some 40 thou strip just solvent that sand to heal the wound so to speak so that fits nice and this one here is just a little bit loose but I can easily fix that, I'll show you, right? So I'm going to take this, this side here, take that off, and I'm just going to put on a, a bead of cement, and then I'm going to take this six, 60 by 10 thou strip, I'm just going to apply it on like that. Press it down, make sure it's got a, you know, it's nice and wet. Okay, and then I'm going to trim that off, and that should be enough. I'll sand that flush down, and that should be enough so that when I go to slide that back in there at that height, it'll be nice and snug. And if it's a little bit too tight, I'll just stroke it a couple of times. It's always nice to be able to build a model like where it fits nice dry, you know, because then you don't need that much cement then, really, you know, to hold it in place, right? And, you know, you can look at it and study the model, you know, while you're assembling it and the parts stay put. Or, just in closing, let's just say I glue these, these particular funnels in place and I want to use this as an access hatch for electronics and lights, etc. Right? Then I can lift this up, see, off of there with these glued in place. And I can use this as an access hatch. And then I can just drop it back down into place like that. Okay? That way it allows you to do dry runs and figure things out as you go. Okay? Okay, so what I did was I hand painted out the uh, galley in the mess area. Uh, just with a black, flat black paintbrush, because it'll be too difficult to get in there with a brush after I put this upper deck on. And that way, when you look through the portholes, it's black in there. So. Okay, how's everybody doing? So, um, let's just have a look so far and, and, and just talk for a few minutes about what I've done. I don't know if I pointed that out, but I drilled a hole in the bottom. Um, nice clean hole for electronics, if I didn't mention that. It's to go up on the water. So I can turn it around and, and run the cable down through the switch to turn off. Like, it'll probably be DCC, so 
to control the lights, etc. So I want to be able to have a power switch on the bottom just to flick it off underneath the layout on and off if I want. Um, so I'm just starting to build the top of the galley in the mess area here, the skylights. Uh, this will be removable, this deck here. Hopefully I can still get a, a board in there, probably, or I can get it underneath here. You can see there's an option to slide a PC board in there as well. Anyway, so I'm just started building this up now, and then I'm going to probably build a uh, a hatch you go across just a press fit and there there'll be a lifeboat on top of that then you can see where i modeled in these these side doors i built the doors too uh the doors here i'll show you the doors actually they're right here you can see i uh i built them on some strip They're, you know, they got the the uh, the pins that lock and the, the bars kind of thing, watertight doors. And uh, they'll go there open. I'm going to have them open so, so you can sort of see inside. I like to have a f open doors in my models uh, if I can. I think I've mentioned that. Like in this particular case, um, or in any case really, because it invites the viewer to look deeper. Like it pulls the person in. Oh, look at that. Look at the cosmetics of the outside of the model and then when they see a porthole or a doorway that's open they almost want to get in closer and look in and then when they do that they'll they'll notice other things going on that's kind of the reason for that you can see how it's open at the back there's two portholes there these are larger for safety reasons um, these are quite a bit smaller but uh, this has something to do with safety two foot minimum I think so you can get out if anything happens, um, if, if the, uh, God forbid the tug was to sink, but the problem is, is these things, they go down so fast, you know, but, um, yeah, so, and then there's a wall, there's a wall that goes in right here. I cut this piece that slides in. So it's a compartment in there. And then these stacks or funnels, I should say, they were tricky to build because they have like, there's no, there isn't a straight line on this boat, you know, like there really isn't like the only straight line is these corners here, there and here, really. Everything else has a, an oblique angle or a curve to it, um, including these funnels. So, but uh, these fit nice. I had to shim them a bit just to get them to fit nice, but I'll show you. So this slips in like that, and then it, it closes in on the corner there and makes that compartment a, a compartment, so to speak. Uh, I'll have to be careful when I glue that because, you know, I got to pull that door frame in it because it's a scale door frame. I wanted it to be thin scale, like not a thick, you know, base plastic. And then this one goes in. They're sort of tapered, so you got to get them in on an angle a bit, like this. Like so. She's got some, you know, the big twin funnels on her, eh? It's really cool. Um, and then the cab up here, it's a really well-balanced tug once it's, you know, once it's all dressed, eh? Um, so you can see how that's closed off now. And then in this area, so the winch sits in here. It doesn't sit all the way inside because there's a big drum back there. And then the winch sits out in between the bollards here in the rear deck. So everything's working out in terms of ratio. Uh, not bad, I think, for... Uh, you know, a napkin design off of photographs. I'm quite pleased uh, with it. And uh, I'm also gaining a lot more confidence with the build too. I mean, that's the way it is. That's the way the journey is, right? Like the steps, the way they worked out, um, you know, the bow. Um, once this is done, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put uh, twin, twin bullards up here. Then the big chain winch is up in here. 
and then I'm going to start working on the on the superstructure, the cab, or command bridge, and so on. And um, yeah, no, it's 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 uh, really looking neat, and it looks really cool up on the layout too. Like, in fact, I'll show it to you up on the layout if you want. Okay, so we'll just keep at her, and uh, you're really liking the progress so far. It's uh, moving along even, even a little bit better than I expected. Some of the real hard challenges, like I say, have been accomplished, like this rear transom for the most part was probably the most difficult part of the build. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun doing the upper structure here too as well, and fitting it out and so on. Okay, cheers. Cheers.